Greetings theists and non-theists, I am the Atheist Paladin. Um, <clears throat> I was inspired to uh, show you my book case. I was actually planning to, to do this a long time ago, but Johnny showed his and I want to show mine, so let's see what's on my bookcase. Top shelf is all my fantasy books, all the, the, um, the science fiction I like to read. Most notably, uh, I like the Wheel of Time series. Um, I have just about all the books. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Robert Jordan passed away when writing the, f the final book. Um, what is going to be big, taken up by somebody else. Um, the other books I like is by Pierce Anthony, the, the Xanth series. I'm a big fan of that series as well. And then over here I have Elantrist and the Mistborn series by uh, Brandon Sanderson. And this is the actual guy who's going to finish the um, the Wheel of Time series. So he's going to finish it for Robert Jordan. The, I believe the final book of the Wheel of Time series is going to be called Memories of Twilight. So these are all the fantasy books I have. Down here, I guess this is what you call my um, atheist section too. Um, I have Richard Carrier, a book from Daniel C. Dennett, um, uh, some Dan Barker, all sorts of books. As you can see here, all the, the I guess what you call the classics, and s some here and there. Um, what I would probably recommend. For anyone is probably the Jesus Puzzle by Earl Daughtery. That is a a, a good overall explanation of the um, Jesus' mythicist position, I guess. And I say a good good project is the uh, God the Fail Hypothesis. I think that's a very excellent book. And way back here. Creation Science by Ross. It's currently my only Christian book. I used to have a whole lot more, like um, from Josh McDowell and Lee Strobel. But when I became an atheist, I threw them all away. But I'm kind of regretting it because I, I want to have a, a balanced bookshelf. Because if you... It, it's just more about having something that fits your position. But how can you really say that you are open-minded and you don't really try to understand both sides of the argument. You see what I'm saying? Uh, down here, this is what I think I call my science section. Uh, physics Impossible, Halligan Universe, all these great um, super string books and uh, about that and Briefer History of Time. I haven't read it. I just bought this one. I haven't read it yet. And then over here, um, some fluffy books. I'm currently reading uh, on Nietzsche. Uh, see what he's all about. Um, I don't know why I, I got into Nietzsche, just as I think he was like the one who came up with nihilism, and I really don't like nihilism, so I'm reading into what he said so I can under, under, understand it, so I can deb debunk it basically, because I really don't like nihilism. <laughs> okay, and um, this used to be like stacked this high of my um, magazines, um, especially from what I had from the deployment. But some of these I'm going to be using for like video ideas. Um, some some were really interesting, so I might talk about that later. Down here is just really um, random books that I have. You know, I got Strong's Accordance, the Dictionary, um, Poser Seven. You know, two rules, you know. Uh, I get, you know, one or two Bibles, Quran. Um, this is really all the, the stuff I couldn't fit upstairs. Again, something from Nietzsche. Uh, Dar Dan uh, Darwin's Dangerous Idea. I also think about reading this when I do uh, the Problem of, Edia, uh, of Evil video series. So, um, probably read up on this. So I understand the arguments on both sides, and, and I'll get to that. And 
old algebra book. Down here I just have really a case full of my, my movies and video series and stuff like that. And over here is my sport video game case and different software and all that. And at the very bottom I have the case for my video quarter right there. And here is the case for my new digital LSR camera. I got from Circuit City. I said, what the hell, they're going out. I'm getting a good discount right now, and so I got that. So, um, that's basically my bookshelf right there. Um, and I still like books. I love reading books. Um, getting into, you know, philosophy and all that, and reading those type of books. Um, certainly this is not going to be the, the last bookshelf I'll ever own. <laughs> I'm going to try to fill it even more, and so, but that's what I got right now. So, peace.